Hello, and welcome back to more Let's Play Super Mario RPG Completely Blind. I am the Max Few Trades in the last part. I got my head crushed in by a demon from another universe, which I highly suspect was Final Fantasy. In this part, we're gonna go over here and make some story progression. Doesn't that sound nice? Because we've enlisted these helpful little Koopa Troopas here. Dan Hunt, all troops in position tomorrow. Your mission is to scale the cliff by jumping shell to shell. That doesn't seem too hard. Just okay. I can do that. All right. Well, um, there we go. How's this it? Oh, Nelly. Ah. Uh, uh. Okay. Yep. Yeah, this isn't so bad. No, I greatly regret doing that. Oh, poo. Don't give up. Sure, instead he does it again. I'll try it again. Okay. Okay. I misjudged the distance required. I can do this. I don't know why one of these little guys can't just... Ah! Why one of these little guys can't just freaking make me go exactly where I need to go instantly. Just fly up, you know. Sounds like it would make sense. Huh. Huh. Oh, ah! Oh, it goes up? Ugh. How am I supposed to know that? Come on. And let me through. Leaving now. Mission accomplished. Lots of time is 30 seconds. 30 wow, 30 seconds. Keep working on it. Well, no. I don't want to keep working on it. I want to advance the story. <laughs> All right. To Bean Valley, apparently. Everything's always got to be named after food. And bees! I was expecting new enemies, and I got none. Oops. All right. Now, which pipe do I go through? Eeny, meeny, miny, this one. I said go in this one. Mario, go in the pipe. Mario, go in the pipe. Mario, go in the pipe. Thank you. Yeah, that's not frustrating at all. Ah, dang it. Oh, level up for Gino. Reaches level 17. 61, 19, 67, 72, 47, and he learns Gino Flash. Pretty awesome. Have some more power. Ah, boy, oh boy. Okay, now let's finally just go down the level tube. This better not be another consardent maze, because I have had quite enough of that. And these are being blocked by... Piranha plants, apparently, and the can't reach that. Okay, fine. You are ignored, and I will save my game. I don't know what the deal with was that place, but I ref I am going to leave without it. Farewell. What is over here? More piranha plants. I've had quite enough of this. Uh, you. Oh, okay. Apparently, I can fight him. Uh, just a piranha plant. Whatever. Eat spiky thing, demon. Oh, he's slightly tougher than I expected. That was easy. <laughs> La di da. It's shower time. There, there, my pretties. Oh. Hey! He's prolonging this fight for no adequately explained reason, other than just being a jerk. Okay, now I have the two-headed piranha plant. That's always fun. All right, well, whatever. More spike to the face! There we go, another dead head. Troopa shell! I gotta say, I really, really like the weapons in this game. They're really quite imaginative. La-di-da! It's recycled water. There, there, my pretties. And even more shy. I do not like that shy guy. Can't we just, like, smack him upside of the head while he's over here? Apparently not, because flames. And flame magic on Bowser. That sounds like something that would work quite effectively. Not. And, yep, more flames on Bowser. Okay, thank you for not wasting my time by using a long, prolonged attack. I will simply destroy you with... About haste. With with haste. I will destroy you with haste. Toothpaste. That's what. There, deadhead. Parasol! Really not sure how... I don't know. I A friend of mine assures me that an umbrella is in fact a great weapon for combat, but I still fail to see the, the practicality. And I messed up the timing on that. Doesn't matter, because I've got a trooper shell backup. I wonder if those paratroopers who helped me get up here are upset about the fact that I'm using the shell of one of their dead in order to uh, attack my foes. It's kind of insult to injury, isn't it? Well, whatever, I suppose they don't need to know about my weaponry. Yep. Really? How many more heads are you going to put on this stupid thing? Oh, that's a very large head! Okay, so they're just going to get huger, apparently. All right, well, let's get rid of the tiny ones first. Gotta take down the minions, then you can go for the head honcho. Actually, that's kind of a terrible strategy. You should always go for the leader before you go for the minions. I mean, I... Bowser and Peach have been turned into mushrooms. I did not see that coming. 
Wow, that's, uh, that's different. Uh, how you doing there, Mar? Yeah, he's still got enough. Alright. <laughs> okay, that is... Does it wear off? I certainly hope it wears off. Because I have no clue what to do otherwise. Uh, oh. Sorry about that. I was very, 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 very ultramically rudely interrupted in the middle of my recording by a pestry family member. Oi. Anyway. Go back to the sting, and I'm just saying... Mario better not turn into a mushroom. I think it's impossible. I think he's still wearing that true for- Oh, now they're both dead. Well, should probably bring them back, shouldn't I? There we go, Peach. Revive my fallen girlfriend, it seems. There we go. Oh, and got a freebie. Awesome. Now, Peach, you have... This- Yep, I knew it was revival magic. Oh, Ha! Give him a, an invincibility star to bring him back to life. That's pretty amazing, not gonna lie, Peach. Good job. Drain! Miss! You fail in life, giant piranha head! Get out of here! And Troopa! Hopefully this is the final head, because otherwise this is getting quite silly. Anything up now? Quit biting me! I don't much care for it at all. You know, considering normal Mario enemies typically, uh, you know, die when they're hit with, like, a single fireball. I find it's, I, I've, I've never quite gotten used to these things taking so long to kill! Granted, I played Paper Mario, but, I don't know, at least then I could see the opponent's HP. And nothing ever had over 100. It's all very manageable and easy to understand, is what I'm trying to say. But then again, this is, this was clearly made before it, and it's, you know... It's its predecessor! It's going to have a couple of little kinks in the system. Okay... Not good, not good! I kick another trooper shell at you. Oh, that was easy! <laughs> Alright, any level up? Nope, no levels up. Alright, now, go away, I hate you. Look what you did! Smilax been whacked. Oh, I'm going to get it! Queen Valentina told me to keep everyone out of Nimbus Land. What should I do? I know! Oh, run away! <laughs> oh, shy guys are hilarious cowards. And, uh, he apparently dropped something. What's this? Uh, it's a seed. I shall take it. Pick up a seed. Okay, it looked more like a note, but uh, hey, whatever. And... Ah, oh, cool! It's one of those vine boxes from the original game. Well, that's a nifty little thing they did. Wow, did you see that? It's a magical beanstalk. Hit the block once more to climb it. Okay. It's time for my epic jumping skills to fully be realized. Whoa, we are in super duper cloud land. Hi. Oh, that's an enemy. Okay. <laughs> it looked friendly. But that is a very, very fat Koopa. He does not appear to be able to actually fly. That <laughs> is a very fat Koopa. <laughs> oh, it's kind of adorable, actually. Oh, uh, It's a shame I'm going to have to hit him upside the head with an umbrella, but uh, you know how these things are. It's nothing personal. Heavy Troopa's ready to launch. Oh, are you now? Well, too bad. I just threw a thing at you. Oh. This guy's clearly made out of some stern stuff. Alright, now he's gone. Huzzah! We have defeated the very, very fat Koopa people. Alright, uh, another note? Or is this another C, perhaps? Uh, uh, oh, get off that thing. There, read. How to climb the vines. The vines are positioned from the bottom left to the top right. When you jump, you will be able to dis... Engage yourself with the vine. Nimbus Depot of Trans... Department of Transport... <laughs> the Department of Transportation. Uh... It's moments in Mario games, like, when whenever it seems like the Mario universe is just completely normal, like, it has a department of transportation, or just has, like, a bank or something, it, it, it makes me think about, like, what, you know, Nintendo characters do on their off days, you know, when they're not in the middle of an adventure, like, I don't know, Mario just, like, going to a supermarket or something. I don't know why, but stuff like that's always made me, like, just laugh internally. Like, watching Mario go to the store, or Samus... Uh, I don't know, going to a hair salon or something. Captain Falcon bringing his, bringing in his racing ship to a mechanic or something. I don't know. Stuff like that just makes me laugh, and I keep falling. I am not very good at vine climbing. These aren't really even vines. They're more like pipe cleaners. And I just noticed all the clouds have creepy little faces on them. Okay, let us concentrate. All right. Also, I want to see Olimar actually doing his job. You know, being a... He's basically a delivery boy, pretty much. Anyway, eh, okay. Leaping! Okay, almost didn't make that one. Okay, so apparently... 
if I know my beanstalk terminology, we're going into a land of the clouds. Uh, that's a go back. Jump on this one. Crab no, I'd rather not do that. Go back to the, go back. Okay. At least I don't have to climb the things again. Wrong spring! To Nimbus Land, evidently! Cloud people! It's a land of cotton candy! This must be Mallow's home! Alright, everyone, listen up. Uh-oh, what's all this? What on earth is that? Shut up! Um, okay. King Nimbus' condition is growing worse. This means we'll be losing our magnificent ruler. Well, that's unfortunate. But, it just so happens that I have found the missing prince. Prince Mallow, as that is. You found Mallow. We've got Mallow. Prince Mallow, please, sir. Prince. Get over here! Oh my god, it's Scorpion! <laughs> oh well, it seems that a little princess. Uh, princess! Prince is a mild case of stage fright, excuse me. Ha ha ha! Oh, and she just did it. Woo hoo hoo! That's a little laugh there. Come on, make it snappy. What, you can't get through? Well, just look at you, tubby. Is that a toucan and an army helmet? Introducing Prince Mallow. Welcome, <laughs> what? Uh, you filled out a bit, Prince. <laughs> that is clearly not Mallow. These people aren't very bright. Um. Okay. Yes. What is it, dear? What you're asking me to? Gracious, you're serious, aren't you? Well, I don't know what to say. Dear me. I've made my decision at the request of the prince. I agreed to become his queen. Queen Valentina! Oh, it just makes me shiver. I sense a dirty, nefarious plot at hand here. Well, that's that. Back to your business, everyone. Hurry it up, will ya? That is not Mal- Mallow is not a toucan in a helmet. Although, if Mallow was a toucan in a helmet, I think I'd probably have him on my team a lot more often. <laughs> it's like Cat Sith. Can you believe it? What a coincidence. There's a prince with the same name as me. Mallow, you are an entirely stupid moron. Don't we have anything better to do than hang around here? Come on, let's go and find the rest of the star pieces. Oh, wow, Mallow, you're an idiot. Okay, well, it's clear that this is the part where we, where Mallow gets reintroduced with to his family, and we got all sorts of backstory and front story and all that good stuff, so Mallow will be joining our team, at least for this. I don't want him, I don't want him to be excluded in what's clearly meant to be his story. Say, you have that. I'm looking for something. Look in your eyes. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, whoa! Okay, a mega glove. I pretty... A war fan. A sticky glove. Um, I'm not sure if a mega... Uh, I'll buy it to be on the safe side! To the equip... To, ugh, to the equipment! To a shell mega glove. It does more! Okay. Ribbit stick. Gets rid of the... Gets the sticky glove. I don't really think I want to know what that does. And she gets a war fan! All right, Oop, I should probably sell some of my junk so I can see if I can buy some armor. Sell weapons. Sell, 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 sell. Uh, sell items. I'm sure I've got some junk in here. I don't need these cookies. I don't need this pure water. What's a bracer? Raises allies, defense in battle. I don't need them. Uh, don't need this normal everyday mushroom. That's pretty stupid. Uh, buy. Okay, now we can buy ourselves a fuzzy shirt, fuzzy pants, a fuzzy cape, and a fuzzy dress. Fuzzy, fuzzy everywhere, and wait. We're not supposed to touch fuzzy, get dizzy. That's a terrible idea for what we're doing right now. Although I do ima I do like to wonder what that looks like. Either way, we are now properly outfitted for Nimbus Land, and I don't care if we're in the clouds. This is clearly a an isle. This is clearly a city full of cotton candy monsters. I used to work for King Nimbus, but all of a sudden one day, Valentina told me I was fired. I just don't get it. He needs help. He's sick. Hmm. The plot thickens. Poor King Nimbus appears to be a town under the weather. But what do you have to say? Was Prince Melo that heavy? Well, she says it's him, so it must be him. That is an incredibly stupid way to look at things, but okay. It's like, welp, 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 welp. I mean, some lady says that's the prince, so I'm not going to look into it. I used to work, whoop, sorry, hiccuped. I used to work in the castles. You should see the way she hits poor Dodo. What a horrible life he must live. Uh, been a while since I saw Prince Mallow. He's changed, but yes, I do believe that's him. I wish the king would get well, but at least the prince is back just in case something awful happens. Hum. Hey, who are you? You can't just barge in here. Blech. Sorry. Hiccups. Okay. Okay, I can't just go in. Perhaps there's another way around. That Garo's the sculptor... Uh, wait. That's Garo, the sculptor's place. He used to make all kinds of kings for King Nimbus, but these days he has nothing but time on his hands, what with the king being sick and all. 
A sculptor! Perhaps he needs help with something of some sort? And, uh, that is a statue of Mallow. Okay. <laughs> hey, look, it's me! Oh, you mean that? That's King Nimbus when he was a young lad? <laughs> what the? Who are you? Hello, my name is Mallow, and this is my friend Mario. Mallow, so it is you, my boy. It's been so long. Now you've become a splendid young prince. Ho oh ho! And then, see that? I think that's what I like about Mallow. He's unaware of the blisteringly obvious. First he thought he was a frog, and he was shocked that he wasn't, and now for some reason he's confused that he's the prince. He's kind of an idiot. Of course you're the damn prince. And Mario's pantomiming! <laughs> Woo! All sorts of craziness. Okay. I don't think that was entirely necessary, but it was funny. Apparently my parents are now blasting the Ghostbusters theme song downstairs. Hopefully that doesn't pick up on the microphone. Oh, that's definitely gonna pick up on the microphone. I'll be back in a second. Interrupted by Ghostbusters. I sincerely never thought that that was something that would happen in one of my videos. I apologize. Sincerely. Continuing. Yes, indeed, I understand. So, you were raised by Frog Fuchsius. There's no question about it. You are, without a doubt, Prince Mallow. Mario, look at me. I'm a prince. And then Mario bows. Mario is such a gentleman. I knew Valentino was up to something. I just didn't know what. That must mean that the king really isn't gravely ill. Then let's go Then let's go inside the castle and save my mother and father. Calm down, bugger. Oh. Hey, who are you? You can't just barge in here. Mallow, you just gave up freakishly easy. <laughs> Wait, I have an excellent idea. Come over here. Okay, what? Are you ready? Uh, sure. What are you going to do? Just stay still for a little while, okay? It won't take long. What is the cotton candy sculptor doing to us? He's just... It's, it's, he's teleporting. And now we are Golden Mario! New Super Mario Brothers 2 before it was even a game. Hey, don't move! You're going to be a statue for a while, okay? Let's get going now. And Mario is a statue, okay. Just sorta... <laughs> this plan is so absurdly stupid, I think it just might work. I'm delivering Valentina's latest order to her. You may enter. Halt, who goes there? Hey, this doesn't look like Valentina at all. Ow, it's... He's shanking me! Oh, that's because this is a statue of Valentino's nephew. Mar... Mariota? Mariota, okay. Uh, okay. Proceed. <laughs> Yay for stupid guards. Oh, me thinks this lady has a va vanity problem. Phew, that was close. Didn't think we could get through that one. There's no such person named Mariota. Ha! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, now this is lovely. My, be my beauty simply shines forth like the sun. Only you can make something this stunning. Thank you, your majesty. I'll be on my way now. Halt! What, may I ask, is this ugly thing? Uh, that's my latest masterpiece. I, I created it just for you. It's called A Plumber's Lament. <laughs> the thick mu observe, the thick mustache covering the sad, innocent smile of a simple fool. Um, and the sideburns covering his blue-collar roots. And the legs, well-defined, strong, the leg of the masses. Is it to your liking? Hmm, I consider myself something of an art buff, and I've got to say, this is spectacular! <laughs> Girl, only you could have created sculptors with such gentle beauty and raw power. Hoo hoo hoo! Thank you, your majesty, I'll be on your way now. Alright, uh, well, we're inside, that's good. Spectacular! Don't know, don't know, don't just sit there like a roast. Hurry up, hurry and carry these in. Don't know! I seriously want that thing on my team. Seriously, I will exchange all of my team for just that guy. Step on, I like the bird in the helmet. That is the most glorious creature I've ever seen in a video game. And I've played a lot of RPGs. Oh, it appears, oh, it appears Dodo here doesn't like his, his slave master, as it were, attacking the statues. Methinks that's probably important. All right. And, uh, 
We're just sort of hanging out here forever. Gonna move. Yep, I can move. All right, time to go exploring. By saving, of course. That is that is of the utmost importance. We want to make sure not to die in a horrible manner, and I'm still kind of golden. I, I wish I could say I'm pretty sure this color is not gonna last very long, but I wish I could be it for. Oh no! Oh no! Did you display the statues properly? Fine. Now polish them to a fine luster and make them a tribute to my beauty. Uh, pay attention to me. Hurry up and don't let me catch you dozing again. Running away now. <laughs> Back to my post. Uh oh, Dodo's in a pretty bad mood. Keep up your statue disguise and jump to avoid getting pecked. Get ready because he's coming this way. So, pretend I'm a statue unless I'm about to be physically assaulted. Yeah, that's a pretty good rule. I'm good with that. Yep, there he is. He's waiting a little while. Oh, this is pretty much exactly like Booster's uh, curtain game. Okay, I can deal with Ah, oh, okay. Messed that up. Slightly. Uh. Or a lot. What? The statue was ticklish. Is that what you said? If you try stalling just one more time, I'm gonna have your feathers plucked from my pillow. Now scat. Um. Okay. I kind of messed up the timing on that one. Let's tr Luckily. Luckily, Dodo is stupid and Valentina is, uh, doesn't really trust his word. So I guess we're gonna get another chance at this. Boom. Bum ba dum ba dum bum ba bum ba dum bum 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 jump. <laughs> I like this little guy. <laughs> it's like you look, look at that. go. Um, this doesn't seem right. I'm. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Uh, this is pretty dang amazing. I'm not gonna lie. And now he's leaving. Haha! -ha! He was running in. T he, he was running in the black drop. I'm pretty sure that's not physically possible for video game characters. Okay, that was fun. Not gonna lie, that was pretty fun. That was pretty amazing. That was pretty spectacular. I just picked up a feather. Okay. I'm not sure what a feather is used for, but uh, I'm sure it's for something useful. Let's just. Well, I'm absolutely exhausted. Oh, Nelly! Time to be a statue again. I hate being a god. Valentina only gives us the most boring jobs to do. But I guess this beats Dodo's job. Dodo has to polish Valentina's statues every single day. Ha! Here's how I'd do it. Ow! Aha! I'm being shanked! Jerks! Oh, my paint fell off. Hey, tell me something. Do statues move? No, statues don't move. Then explain this! It's one of those high-tech or lifelike realistic ones. Let's get out of here. Well, okay. I'm always good with guards being incredibly stupid. And, uh, oh, hello. Oh, it's a drunk shy guy! Okay! And scepters! Joffle is sleeping. Who's Joffle? Rico oh, I am confused. I am confused and afraid. Uh, they're recovering damage that they don't actually have. That's a problem. Okay. Get out of here! Oh! I forgot I changed my weapon. I was ex expecting the shell and I got a giant fist. Warfan! Well, that was pretty cool. Not gonna lie there, Peach. You are pretty amazing. Sticky glove! That did almost nothing, but I... Oh, uh, it's probably not weak to physical attacks. Or maybe Mallow is just that weak. Wow, Mallow, you have, like, zero attack. Eh, if this wasn't your clearly designed to be your part of the story, I would have completely and totally ignored that you entirely. Well, we'll have a time for the Mega Glove with my giant hands. Defense up! Right, and uh, this guy isn't doing anything, so we'll just beat him upside the face, and he's awake now! Okay, that makes sense. And I've been shanked with a fork. That's happened way too many times in my life, I'm, I've got to say. Hopefully he'll go away soon enough. Yep. Okay, sticky glove! Bazanga! Okay, that thing had way too much HP. I did not care for it. Double your experience points. All right, fine, I'll play your game. Where's Yoshi and not here? A tie! Okay, good enough. <laughs> Still got all my experience points. I'm okay with this. And up, oh, fan monsters! It's the one from Mon Monstoros and a Metroid jellyfish! Okay. Weird. It's I encountered a friendly version of this monster 
before I found a hostile version. That's pretty rare. Alright, get out of here! Ain't got the time! Hey, I'm trying to keep this video entertaining, but I keep getting constantly interrupted by family members and freaking f sentient fan- That thing was trying to be a statue and he failed. I will murder him. Hmm, that's what you get for trying to steal- Oh, and I just got full healed, which means there's going to be something dangerous over here. Hostile black mages? I'm going to assume so. Oh, okay, I was going to try and completely avoid monsters altogether, but that clearly wasn't going to happen. Ugh, let's get rid of these shy guys first. They're always the biggest pain. Shy guys always being jerks. And... Huh, take that, black mage! So many references to square soft. Ugh. At least I'm assuming that's a reference. It looks exactly like one. And really, if that isn't a reference, I don't even know what is and seeing as how i thought something that's final fantasy-esque as i was told it's not actually from any game but that's definitely final fantasy inspired i'm not going to pretend that that's totally and not completely just a freaking black mage i'm fighting over there anyway they're all dead now so why am i even talking about this i don't know i don't really have a lot to talk about i'm just having a lot of fun beating things up in the face and trying to make sure you guys are all happy and entertained what do you think have i been doing that Sometimes I have very heavy doubts that I've actually have actually been doing any good in my videos as if Perhaps they're not as entertaining or as amazing as they possibly could be But then again, that's all just what ifs. I mean you guys seem to enjoy the videos, So I suppose that's all that really matters. I doubt you guys would lie to me You're the internet and the internet is known for its brutal honesty And there appears to be nothing over here. So I completely went this direction for absolutely no reason and enemies Okay now we can progress. Nope. Okay. I keep getting interrupted by fork wielding tomatoes. That is a very peculiar sentence that I just got to say because of freaking video games. All right, ignoring you. And oh, I completely ignored him too. And people in the room. Hi, how are you guys doing? A dip in the hot springs would perk up the king in a jiffy. Go on, take this. A flower jar. Okay, thank you, random stranger. Hey, did you know Valentina's got a huge egg in the middle of the room? It spits out eggs from time to time, and sometimes when you shield yourself, the eggs will ricochet off you. That's random. Okay. I used to be a guard here until... Oh, t uh, bad joke. Okay, resisting bad joke. Until Valentina snatched away all my keys and gave me the boot. Guess I won't be needing this master key anymore. Would you like it? Sure, thank you. All right, here you go. Just don't tell me what you're going to do with it, okay? Okay, just avoided a Skyrim joke, but I'm quite happy about that. Did you know that there are hot springs around here? No, I did not. We got special hot water from Barrel, bleh, the barrel Volcano. It helps cure all kinds of ailments, but only the king gets to bathe in it. Well, that seems selfish and evil of him, but tomato fork monster. Okay, leaving, avoiding, getting out of the way. Get out of my way, fatty! When all is in doubt, up. Oh. Oh, well, okay. When all is in doubt, make sure to put a fat man in front of your door, and it's this guy again! la da here you go, big eggy. I'll give you plenty of nutrients so you'll grow up to be big and strong. You don't water an egg, you know that, right? Uh-oh, Mario's already here. He's a fast one, he is. Uh, uh-oh, it won't open. It's locked. Ha-ha-ha-ha. <laughs> that shy guy's running away. Get back here! Get back here! Okay, I can't reach him. I, what, do I need to attack the egg? Destroy the one thing that brings you joy? I'm so lonely. Will you play with me? Okay. Thanks. Oh! <laughs> okay, Shelly. Well! But I'm, I, I must say, this is perhaps the most random encounter I've had in this game ever since I fought a cake. <laughs> and now it's egg. I'm, I'm assuming there's going to be some sort of horrific monster dwelling with inside it, but for right now, it is simply nothing more than an egg. It is Birdo! Oh my god, it's Birdo! Oh, wow, I was not expecting Birdo in this game. Wow, ah, ah, did you... Well, the noise of some people. I will punch you and your I don't even know what species you are face. If I had to guess, you're a dinosaur, but I don't recall dinosaurs shooting eggs from their faces. Teehee, ouch, you're hurting me. Now it's my turn. Get it while it's hot. Ow! You missed, you silly, silly creature! I don't have time for your shenanigans and your gender confusion. In case you're curious, it's female in America, so it's female in my book. But either way, 
And Mario just really died a lot there. Explosive eggs! Well, then again, I did use an explosive egg to beat Bowser in Paper Mario, so I think I I should know better than anyone that exploding eggs are perhaps the ultimate weapon in all forms of combat. I know this better than anyone. Alright, now how many times... There's the question. How many times do you gotta punch a burro in the face before it's dead? I don't know. Oh, by the way, happy birthday! You hit a punch to the face! What with the eggs, you fiend? Seriously. I ain't digging this. Maybe I should start using special moves more often instead of just randomly attacking things. At the very least, it would make my fights less boring looking. And I have a lot of new abilities to use, so how about Snowy? I don't know what on earth it does, but let's use it! Rotate control pad, okay! I'm doing- Whoa! Giant Snowman! How'd that do ya? 27, that did absolutely nothing. You suck! And Peach is dead. Great. Okay, I've only got one more pick-me-up, so let's hope for the best. Got a freebie! Okay, so I can survive one more attack. Ha, da, 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 da. You don't really have any offensive attacks, so... Warfan! And... Uh, shocker, perhaps? Mallow, just please be useful for something. Whoa! Power Rangers theme! <laughs> ah, I got, I got, I got. Okay. You're a jerk? Okay, how about... Super Flame! Taste Fire Demon! Go down! Has a zero damage! Well! So this is why I don't ever bother with freaking magic abilities. Ugh! Physical attacks! They're always the safest bet! Fine! Well, whatever! Then I'll just... Okay! I'll just keep a smacking him in the face! Him, her, slash, it, don't care! Either way, I will just keep smacking it with a fan, my fists, and my cotton candy fists. And hopefully, eventually, it'll just fall down, because this is getting kind of ridiculous. And granted, it's an RPG. Sometimes enemies take a little while to die, but I don't know. It's just, it's kind of hard to make these sort of things interesting for extended amounts of time. I'm sure anybody who's Let's Play over an RPG would probably agree with me. There's only so many times you can deck a dinosaur upside the face with a war fan before it starts to get a little boring, is all I'm saying. Shop shooting eggs? At least it has a high, like a very low accuracy rate. Like, less so than any other freaking attack I've ever seen in this game so far. <laughs> and something tells me this probably isn't even the boss. It's probably gonna be just like the Kraken from the sunken ship. It's just, I'm going to fight this thing, it's gonna take me forever, and it's gonna stink. And then I'm gonna fight the real boss. And if it's anything like Johnny, it, oh, I'm never gonna let you go. You're just too cute. Oh. Well, if you're never going to let me go, why did you disintegrate into the ether? You've become part of the life stream, Birdo! Alright, so... And... Back in your egg, apparently! Uh, thank you for the... Key... Birdo, you're weird! Pfft. That's the end of this episode, In the next part we're going to go through that door and hopefully save Mallow's parents and he'll be reunited and he'll be all happy and everyone will be happy. It'll just be a dang good time for everyone involved. I will see you guys... then! Watch out for Birdo, that thing's kind of crazy.